Hey guys, welcome to my quick video today. I'm going to show you how to create images from USBs and I'm going to show you how to burn images to USBs. So this is a little bit different than uh, things like Rufus or Ventoy, which are mainly focused on getting images onto your USB and making that a bootable USB drive. This particular utility today is more of a clone type of utility. So let's say you've built out a really nice um, custom USB. You've got like Ventoy on there to load multiple images. You've done some customization and it's working really well for, me, for you. Maybe you have multiple images on there. Or another example is you've got Metacat, which is a bootable USB that builds Ventoy for you upon installation, as you've seen in my videos. And you just want to capture that, be able to reuse that on another drive, or maybe you want to deploy that on top of a existing bootable drive or something like that. I found this is a really good tool to do things like that because it'll take that entire flash drive. If it's just one ISO, or if you've got a whole bunch of stuff you're booting to on that USB, it will wrap that all into a single image file. And that'll allow you to reuse that image file as a bootable image. So you can kind of tuck that, so to speak, into another bootable USB and have a whole nother environment, whether again, whether that's a single ISO or multiple OSs that you're booting. So go ahead and check out the link that I provided in the description guys, and that'll download the application for you. And then I'll just open the app here and we can take a look at what it looks like. All right, guys, once you download that, it's literally just clicking this download button here from the link that I provided. Once you download it, go ahead and extract that. And once you extract it, just launch the executable. It's just a standalone app. You'll get a UAC prompt. Go ahead and accept that. And then you can go ahead and have the application open. Let me zoom on it. Let me zoom in on that for us one second. Okay, guys, here we are. So you've got a few options here. Let me one second. Let me make sure this updates. Okay guys, so now we're looking at the application itself and it's a pretty straightforward, but a very powerful app. So first thing you're gonna wanna do guys is make sure you select the correct flash drive. I've used a 64 gig drive that I built in one of my demonstration videos, actually the Heron's Boot CD video in the series. So we can work with this USB. Um, really the options that I work with are these two, but you could also use it to zero out if you really wanna do a a low level format on a, on a USB to get rid of any data, or you can reformat a USB drive um, if you're using it for Windows Vista or later. Again, I don't really use this utility for that, but you can choose your format option if you want to do that. But again, we're going to focus on these top two today. So what I have done with this tool this far is I have created an image from a USB. So I would pick the USB drive that already has you know, this might be a nice custom Ventoy deployed multi-image. I've done a lot of customization and I'm really happy with it. Let me go ahead and save that. So what you would do is you would select the USB drive and then you would select the location. I'm not going to do it because it does take a little while, guys, but I've created a uh, location on my folder. I'm sorry, on my drive called USB images. Okay. So you would just select a destination for that, call it Metacat. Just, this is just an example, right? So, and then once you're ready, guys, just hit create. It'll give you a prompt and say, are you sure, you know, is the source and destination correct? And then you would go ahead and click yes. And it would start to write that out. Now, if you're doing something like Metacat, it's close to 25 gigs. So it's going to take you probably a couple hours to rip that image. But once you do that, I'll show you what you get here, guys. You're gonna get a image file that you can then use to either put, you could just dump this right onto like a Ventoy enabled USB and you'd be good to go. Now, if you wanted to just use this as a straight clone, you could do that as well. So then we can go back to our application and do the opposite. So let's take a look at that real quick. <laughs> So in that case, we would do write image to USB. And then you would select the USB as the destination, and then you would select that image that you want to write to it. So you could do it either way, right? You can pull an image off of it, or you can push an image onto a USB. 
So this is a, a really handy tool. I just want to share it with you guys real quick. Let me know if you guys have used it before, or maybe you've got a better tool that you prefer. Um, this filled a need that I had when I created the Metacat USB. I was like, man, I really want to take this Metacat USB and I want to add to it. In other words, I want to have Ventoy on the front end and then I want to have Metacat as one, or I want to have Metacat as one of many options on this USB. And I found this was the perfect tool for me. If you guys have a better tool where you do this, let me know. I'd be curious to check it out and maybe I'll create a video on it. But again, this allowed me to take pre-built USBs, pull those down into an image, and then add those to a collection on another USB. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you learned something new. And again, drop a comment. Maybe you've got a better solution. And just give me any feedback. I welcome everything. Have a great day, guys. Until the next one, take care.